Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks for doing the program. Well, thank you. And your, your show is doing extremely well. Yeah, it's doing very well. And you are, tell me about the internet and the websites. Do, uh, do you follow that stuff? Uh, yeah, I, I do kind of. Um, I, I've actually not been on the web in a while, but I tend to follow it. And it's, it's pretty amazing. You have quite a following. It would appear, yes, on the web. It's, it's, it's kind of a strange thing that my first website actually came up six days after I was cast in the role. Oh. Like, long before we had ever taped anything or before it would ever air. Somebody, some, a buddy from high school, or is it just... No, a fan, I guess, from my previous show called Dark Skies. One of the 12 people who actually saw that show. I don't remember that show. What was, what was that on? It was another science fiction show. It was on NBC, very briefly. Oh, okay. Uh, well, you're wearing a, a beautiful outfit tonight. Thank you. Here, here is uh, the cover of, of TV Guide. Now, uh, that's you as the character. That's me. Now, let me ask you a question. Is it me, or do I look much more enormous than I do in real life on this cover? Well, you know what? Um, it's funny you say that, because... Um, I, I mean, the woman's wearing leather, and I look like three times her yeah, size. Yeah, I, I actually said that to some people, but you, you're, you, you, uh, no, no. The thing is, does it bother you that you're sharing the cover with Xena? No, not at all. No, does, she's a riot. She was a lot of fun. Uh, now, now, I know that she, she has, uh, gay fans. Yes. Okay, they're, they're a little more butch, I think. <laughs> um, do you have more of the lipstick lesbians that follow you? <laughs> Isn't that the way it works, or not? I haven't actually taken an official poll, but um, I couldn't answer you on that one. I really don't. So know. you don't know that kind of. I, that... I don't know those kind of stats. No, I'm not privy to those numbers. Uh, I'm sure they're a closely held secret at UPN. Right. The the uh, the character is 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 seven of nine. Seven of nine. Why why is the character called that? Well, actually, my full name is Seven of Nine, tertiary adjunct of Unimatrix Zero One. Wow. Yeah. Because um, she's a Borg, and Borg don't have names like we have names. They have designations, which um, basically tell what their position is on the Borg ship and what their function is. Okay. So you know all this stuff. Isn't that frightening? Yes. <laughs> do you go, do they still have Trekkie conventions? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they have, there's pretty much a convention every weekend somewhere in the country. Do you have to go? I don't have to go. I go to some of them. Because it's you know it's fun and it's fun to meet the fans. What are they? What are the? Are they just freaks? Or what are they, I mean, what do they do? Do, do they do they try to uh, trip you up and test you on information or? Uh, there are a few. There are a few, and I mean I have no illusions about that. Every Star Trek fan right. who has ever existed knows way more than I will ever know about Star Trek, and I mean every detail of Star Trek. So that that I'm ready for when they ask me the really technical questions. But but they're great. I mean the Star Trek fans are very passionate and very loyal. Um, Very unemployed. <laughs> now, now, do you, uh, you're dressed, uh, this is spandex, or what, what do you yes, wear? Yes, Okay, I think we have a, a shot of your old outfit, which you didn't like because you used to faint, it was too tight. Oh, yes, well, the illustrious Borg costume. Yeah, I wore that for the first two episodes, and it was, um... The one on the left? Yeah, the Let one me on see the that left. again. And, and then this is the, the current one is one on the right. Well, one of the... I don't think you'd be downloaded much, the one on the left. That's, <laughs> that's not that it's exciting. It's not quite the same effect, does right. it? Yeah, that one was, was rubber. I mean, it was like this thick and very tight, and it was fitted, obviously, on bare skin. And mm. we didn't take into account the fact that I would have a half-inch thick latex prosthetic bald cap around my neck. So when it was, when the collar was zipped up with the makeup on, it was too tight, and it kind of pressed on my carotid artery. And did, did you really... It was a problem. Did you faint or not? I didn't actually faint. I, I got faint, um, mm -hmm. so it wasn't real pleasant. We actually called oxygen to the set once. Uh, but, now, but once they realized there was a problem, they, they changed it. You yeah. got the, the hot little uh, rubber outfit. Um, <laughs> the, uh, I was thinking about, these are basic questions, so don't yell at me, but are you a Vulcan, or are you, like, are you the Spock of this uh, new Star Trek? Yeah, I guess in a sense I'm the Spock of this series, except that he was a Vulcan and I'm a Borg. Okay. Come on. Do you, is there pointy? Do you, is there anything pointy on you, or? I don't have the pointy face. No, no. I'm I'm point free. Okay. I have a little metal eyebrow, basically. I saw that. That yeah. was kind of wild. Does that? We actually are going to get one for you. I think that was. I, the, I, I was do, talking to your producer. I do need eyebrows. I don't have the full eyebrows. Uh, I'll tell you something that I I found interesting about you. For, can we just put Star Trek Voyager aside for a second? Sure. Because I watched the old one with Shatner, mm -hmm. and then I haven't followed it as close as I should. But this is what jumps out at me. You're a fan of music in the 80s. 
I am. And I'm stuck in the 80s. <laughs> I still so have... we're a perfect fit. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> I still, I have a Spandau Ballet haircut. You know, I still I, have... I noticed that, actually. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. What were the groups that you liked? I was really into Duran Duran. I was a big Simon Le Bon fan. Yeah. And Adam Ant. He was okay. Some of the girls in college liked him. He didn't do anything for me. But uh, what was your favorite Duran Duran song? Did you have one? Uh, Rio. Mm-hmm. What would you think of Girls on Film? <laughs> remember that one? I do remember that. That was a good one. That was, but that was like later Duran Duran. That wasn't the original, original, early, early stuff. See, you probably, I caught on later because I was, you know, I was... Kind of a loser, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's good, that's good. By the way, um, it's, it's been a great interview. I've really enjoyed having you here. Well, thank you, but I was kind of looking forward to, you know, sitting in the window seat. I've only done it once before, but uh, you seem, you're a Borg. Let's, oh, let's uh, excuse us for a moment here.